Hello friends, today we will discuss the concept of cross wind component and the crab angle of an aircraft and these are important in orientation of the runway. So when we discuss runway orientation, this cross wind component will certainly come into picture. The direction of wind plays very important role during takeoff and landing operation of an aircraft. If landing is done against the direction of the wind, then this wind provides additional braking effect to the aircraft and aircraft comes to stop position within a shorter length of the runway. Similarly, if takeoff is done, if takeoff operation is done against the head wind, then this wind provides more lift to the wings of the aircraft and aircraft can rise above the ground in a shorter length of the runway again. So therefore, landing and takeoff operations are generally done against the wind or I can say that the runway orientation, the center line of the runway is marked in such a manner that the landing and takeoff operations are always against the direction of the wind. And under this condition, the length of the runway required will be absolute minimum. But as you know, the wind direction is not uniform. It can change from year to year, from month to month, even hour to hour of the same day. And therefore, it is possible that the wind can make certain angle with the center line of the runway. Now, when the wind is blowing, at some angle with the center line of the runway, this is the runway and this is the center line of the runway and if wind blows at some angle, let us say theta with the center line of the runway with a velocity v, then there will be a component of this wind which is perpendicular to the center line of the runway and this component is v sin theta. Now, this V sin theta is called the cross wind component or CWC, cross wind component. This cross wind component is important because it can interrupt in the safe landing on or takeoff operation of an aircraft. And therefore, this cross wind component should be kept as minimum as possible. That means, the center line of the runway should be marked such that throughout the year, this crosswind component remains within permissible limit. When a aircraft heads for landing and let us say this is the runway and an aircraft is heading for landing and there is a crosswind from this direction, then the aircraft should move along the center line of the runway or extended center line of the runway and in, in the presence of this crosswind component or crosswind, the, the nose of the aircraft will make certain angle with the center line of the runway in a horizontal plane. So, air, aircraft will not land like this, but it will start landing like this. So, just to counter the effect of crosswind component and this this is the runway and if the aircraft, aircraft is landing from this direction, the center line, extended center line of the runway and if there is a strong wind from this direction then this will be the direction of the nose of the aircraft. But actual movement, actual path of the aircraft will be along the extended center line of the runway for safe landing of the aircraft. Now this angle, this angle which it makes, the nose of the aircraft makes with the center line, let us say X. Now this is called the crab angle. Crab angle is made by the aircraft to counter the effect of crosswind component. Now, this is the crosswind component VC because wind is blowing at certain angle. 
at certain angle theta with a center line. So, this is the Vc which we call V sin theta and let us say this is the speed of the aircraft Vh then this cross this crab angle sin x will be Vc upon Vh. Vh is the speed of the aircraft, speed of the heading, speed of the aircraft and Vc is the crosswind component. So, larger is the crosswind component, more will be the angle of x. That is the importance of this crosswind component. So, if the speed of the aircraft is low, if the aircraft is moving slowly, which is generally the case when it starts landing, when it crosses the threshold, then the speed of the aircraft is very low, maybe around 200 km per hour. And if the crosswind component is quite strong, let us say 30, sin x in that case will be 30 upon 200. 30 is the crosswind component. This is 0 0.15 or x will be around 8 degree 17 minute. This should be the angle made by the aircraft nose with the center line of the runway in a horizontal plane. So, aircraft is moving like this, but its position is like this because there is a crosswind. To counter the effect of crosswind, it takes the position like this. This is angle x. Now, the pilot should reduce this angle to 0 just before landing because if it is reduced too early then the, the this crosswind component can blow off the aircraft literally. If it is not reduced before landing just before landing then the aircraft will land in this direction and it may go out of the pavement out of the runway. That is the importance of this crab angle. So, crab angle should be reduced slowly to zero just before landing. You can see the importance of this in this video. How the air, this crab angle is made by the aircraft when there is a crosswind component, a strong wind and how it is reduced to zero before landing. And if it is not reduced to zero, what happens to the aircraft? This aircraft is heading for landing at an airport and you can see the weather here. There is a cross, a strong cross wind and look at the direction of the runway, the center line of the runway and this is the direction of the nose of the aircraft. Now, if I stop here see this is the direction of the nose and that is the direction of the center line of the runway. There is an angle between these two but the aircraft is heading along the center line. It is because of crosswind component coming from this direction. A strong wind is coming from this direction. So that is the angle, angle between the nose of the aircraft and central line of the runway that called the crab angle. This is the crab angle. Now, this crab angle should be reduced to zero before touchdown. See here, this aircraft must reduce the angle to zero before touchdown so that the landing is safe. If this angle, crab angle, is reduced to zero too early, then in that case, the cross wind can blow the aircraft off the pavement and if it is not reduced at the time of landing, then the direction of the landing will not coincide with the center line of the runway. See here with the runway for landing. That is the importance of the crab angle. Now, because of this reason, this crosswind component should be as minimum as possible. What FAA suggests that for a small aircraft, this CWC can be up to 15 km per hour. Its value should be less than 15 km per hour for small aircrafts and for large aircraft, 
its value should be less than 25 km per hour for small aircraft and for large aircraft. But ICAO suggests that for large aircraft, this value of crosswind component can be up to 35 km per hour. The percentage of time in a year during which this crosswind component remains within permissible limit that is called the wind coverage. Wind coverage that is the meaning that this is the percentage of time in a year during which this runway can be used safely by the aircraft for landing and takeoff because crosswind component is within permissible limit and limits are 35 km per hour. That is the upper limit of crosswind component. If this is more than 35 km per hour, runway cannot be used. And this wind coverage should be 95% for small runways like runway which handle the mixed traffic and should be 98 to 100% for large aircraft or you can say busy aircraft. So, 92, 98 to 100% means basically that throughout the year this crosswind component should remain within permissible limit. Now, this crosswind component depends upon angle theta as well as speed of incidence of the wind. If the speed is very low, even if theta is very high, maybe 90 degree, then also it doesn't affect the crosswind component or the landing and takeoff operations. And therefore, according to ICAO, if wind speed is less than 6.4 km per hour, that is 4 miles per hour, then there is no effect of speed on landing or takeoff. Crosswind component is insignificant. And this period, time duration during a year, percentage of time in a year during which this wind velocity remains less than 6.4 km per hour that is called calm period. Calm period. Why? Because there is no wind blowing at the airport and condition is the calm condition. So, that is calm period. Now, calm period plus wind coverage that is called the total wind coverage. The total wind coverage should be 100%. In all cases. So, that is the concept of crosswind component and crab angle of an aircraft. In the next session, we will discuss the wind rose diagram. How do we mark the center line of the runway given the data of the wind? Thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your suggestions in the comment box.